Hey everybody, Kenny here. I am uh, wherever this is, <laughs> east of uh, San Diego. Just scurried up a bunch of rocks near Akatillo Wells, kinda, and uh, I'm gonna talk to you about hygiene uh, while traveling, how to stay clean. I'm going to talk about uh, what I think are the best clothes to bring to give you the best chance of not stinking. <laughs> uh, what items, like toiletry items, to bring and where you can wash your clothes and where you can wash yourself while you're traveling. Also, I just hitchhiked here today uh, and Banner Gold Moonshine. This video is brought to you by now. <laughs> we stopped at this market. Some guy picked me up hitchhiking and uh, bought me this little jar of moonshine. So I will be drinking this throughout the duration of the video. And then I will scramble down these rocks and find a place to camp. There's actual gold floating around in here. All right, <laughs> let's get clean, shall we? All right, so let's start with uh, clothes. Um, the big ones, well, the big thing is merino wool. If you guys have done any research about travel or anything, merino wool, the secret's out. It's what this shirt is made out of. Um, merino wool is best for shirts, socks, and I would say underwear and it doesn't stink. I mean, eventually it'll stink, but not nearly as fast as a uh, cotton will. So that's my best advice to you for clothes is, it's not cheap either, a merino shirt like this. Uh, you can get them on Amazon sometimes for like 20 bucks a t-shirt, which is already kind of a lot. And as much as like 75 bucks from a company like Icebreaker. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not cheap, but my suggestion is to have, if you can, uh, get your hands on one or two, yeah, two to three t-shirts is kind of ideal. And I'll get into like washing and things like that. Uh, same with socks, two to three pairs, maximum underwear, two to three pairs, maximum. You don't want any more than that. Uh, these shirts dry really quick. So when you do wash them and I'll, again, I'll tell you how you can wash them in different ways. It dries so quick. Um, I've even heard of people traveling with one shirt, which is definitely possible. But I think, I think two is great, three is maximum. Bright-ish colors like this are good for like hitchhiking and stuff, um, but dark colors kind of hide stains. Say you're drinking an Imperial Stout, some gets on your beard, you don't notice, and then it drips down on your shirt. <laughs> it happens. Uh, obviously, if you have like a black shirt, that's not so noticeable, so you can like still wear that shirt for two, three days and no one's really gonna notice the stain. Um, yeah, you just don't wanna be in general like dirty or looking nasty. Uh, you can get away with it, obviously, it's life. Here we are. <laughs> but uh, hitchhiking, yeah, if you stink, you might get kicked out of a car. If you look kind of like you got stains all over you, people may, may or may not pick you up as easily. There's some people who don't care. Um, but yeah, so color, you kind of want to balance. I like uh, blues and greens. This is as light as I would go. Like I would never have a white t-shirt because that would just get real stained up real quick. Um, obviously underwear, socks, who cares <laughs> about the color. Uh, but yeah, so you want to go dark enough with the color that stains don't show up, but bright enough for hitchhiking. And it's whatever, it's your vibe. Or get a shirt with a pattern and spill all the beer on it you want. It's part of the pattern. Um, yeah, that's it for clothes. We'll move on to uh, topic two of the four, which is what to bring. Um, so I would say the number one thing, let's just start off with it, is uh, Dr. Bronner's. And now that I feel like I'm doing an ad for Dr. Bronner's, even though I'm not doing an ad for Banner Gold Moonshine, I'm gonna take another sip. Banner Gold, getting Kenny drunk since five minutes ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dr. Bronner's is the king. <laughs> so this is like a liquid soap, but I've had this little two ounce bottle for, I don't know how long maybe three years, maybe two years, maybe a year. I don't know, it lasts so long. One little drop, you can kind of, you can't really see on the camera. It's foaming up. A uh, Couple drops, you can shower with it. Um, you can also wash your hair with it. You can brush your teeth with it. It comes in different, uh, I guess in this case, flavors, scents. Uh, but peppermint is the classic, best for brushing your teeth. Probably wouldn't want to do it with eucalyptus or whatever, but you can, you totally can. And you can wash your clothes with it, which I'll get into in the next uh, little section. It's just the best. Yeah, how long it lasts? Like, I've never gone through a whole bottle, ever. I always end up uh, forgetting it in someone's shower or something like that, and then getting a new one, and this is like a few bucks or whatever. 
I'll put links down below to Amazon, but you can get this at like uh, Whole Foods or GNC or I don't know, all over the place. Dr. Bronner's. I just can't say enough about it. You've probably heard about it. If you haven't, just get some. It's great. Um, yeah, so that's number one. Obviously a uh, toothbrush. You want that? I made this little uh, hood for the toothbrush. <laughs> just keeps it so it doesn't get dirty, but it still breathes. And I cut the handle off. Also a classic uh, trick hikers and stuff have been doing for years and years and years just to keep it a little lighter. And, you know, it's not really the lightness. It's just like it fits into more places when you uh, cut the handle off. So I would say that's essential. Um, deodorant. I've got a video, and I guess I'll link to it, <laughs> about... This, so this isn't deodorant. Well, it is, but this is a chapstick or something. Uh, but I emptied it out because I like this container and then I melted deodorant down and poured it in this container Which is much smaller and much more efficient than average deodorant containers Which just take up all this space with the little screw system and stuff. It's watch the video and you'll see how to uh, Make your deodorant more efficient uh, And I would really say that's it for <laughs> essentials for toiletries, but I will show you what else I have Because uh, you might be saying what about shampoo and I say Bronner's and a lot of times if I have access to a shower, I have access to shampoo. Um, same thing with toothpaste, like I just use the Bronner's or sometimes just go all natural. I've heard sometimes toothpaste can be BS, um, so Bronner's. Um, this is what I have for a beard trimmer. And this is like technically, uh, I don't know what, how they sell this, as like a eyebrow, nose hair trimmer or something. But I just use this just to fix up my mustache. And then by the time I really need to trim my beard, I might be staying with someone who's got like a legit trimmer and I just borrow theirs. Any item that you're not really gonna use but once a month or so, you'll probably find on the road. Someone will let you use like a, like a beard trimmer. So, but this uh, gets me by in the meantime. And if I'm patient, I can like totally trim my beard with this too. And it's just, yeah, it's light, it takes a little AAA battery. Um, other sort of optional stuff. I've got some chapstick. I hardly ever use it, but when I need it, I need it. Um, sunscreen. I never wear sunscreen and I'll probably get skin cancer and I don't know, do you die from skin cancer? How does that work? Am I going to lose my nose or something? Whatever it is, I'm going to find out. <laughs> I just don't like sunscreen and you should probably not be like me, I guess is the proper advice to give. But to me, it's like if I'm traveling, like right now, I don't know where my next shower is coming from exactly. Like, and I just don't want sunscreen all over my face, like sleeping with it on. And I just don't like it. I don't know. Probably irrational. Definitely irrational. Like a uh, Banner's Moonshine. Banner Gold. <laughs> Making you forget to wear sunscreen forever. It's pretty good. It's really good, actually. All right. So that's what I carry. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I know I'm not because it's right there. <laughs> uh, Ziploc bag to contain everything. It's pretty good. If you ever get on a plane, they technically require that. Um, so, yeah, whatever. And you don't want it spilling everywhere if your Bronner's somehow smashes open. You don't want to get in all over your, your stuff. Not that it would matter too much because it's soap, but... Uh, all right, so section three, washing clothes. So one of the most obvious ones is if you're like couch surfing, staying with friends, whatever, and you have access to a washing machine, bingo. Uh, I will say with that, if I am staying with someone for a few days and I know I'll be able to use their washer, um, I always wait till the last minute, whether it's like the night before I leave or the morning I'm about to take off. Like I want to wash my clothes at the last possible minute. Not like right when I get there, say I'm going to be somewhere for four days. If I wash it right when I get there, then I'm leaving with four day old clothes. So yeah. Minor trick, but wait till the last minute. Uh, same with the shower, which will be the last section I'm getting into. So there's that. Um, technically, you can use like laundromats. I've only done that like once or twice in my life. Um, so there is that <laughs> while you're traveling, if you do need to use a laundromat. Um, then uh, lakes and rivers. And I'll, I'll save that for uh, bathing because I also was going to say uh, the way I usually wash my clothes is while I'm washing myself. Uh, before I get to that, last place you can like wash your clothes is like a sink. So if you did uh, end up paying for a hotel room somewhere, obviously you can uh, fill, clog the sink, fill it with water, soap up your clothes, you know, put the Bronner's in there, soak them up, 
rinse them off, wring them out, dry them, you're good. Um, if you really had access to a public bathroom for like an extended period of time, you could kind of do that too. Um, that's up to you. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it in like a Walmart bathroom or a McDonald's bathroom or something. I don't want to be hanging out in the bathroom and have people asking questions, but in a pinch, if you absolutely need to, and you can be quick about it, um, you can maybe do that too. Uh, sink also might be nasty, but it is an option. You can clean the sink first. <laughs> this moonshine is good. Uh, <laughs> so let's get into the last part and I'll also talk more about washing clothes. And the last part, the big thing is washing yourself. So it's about like six main things I'll talk about right here. And the first is the obvious one. If you are couch surfing, staying with someone, friends, family, whatever, you use their shower. And like I said, with the washing machine, I try to do it the last possible minute. Like, you know, the morning I'm going to leave, I take a shower. That way I'm clean for days. Um, yeah, don't have to worry about it. Uh, so that's number one. Also, lakes and rivers. Uh, let me take a another shot of moonshine. You guys are with me? Drink enough of this, you're not going to care how you smell. <laughs> and your breath is going to be fantastic. I don't even know why I'm putting the lid on. I'm going to be right back at it. Um, yeah, so showers at people's places, lakes and rivers. Uh, in both of these cases, uh, wear your clothes. I keep my uh, shirt on and my underwear on if they're dirty while I'm in the shower, while I jump into a, a lake or a river and just soap it all up at the same time. It's a super efficient way to clean everything, you're cleaning yourself and your clothes at the same time. And that's the other beauty of a merino wool is it dries so fast. So I'll take my shower, I'll wash my hair, I'll soap up everything. And then, uh, and then I'll pop the shirt off, the underwear off, and kind of give it a rinse, give it a ring, hang it up, pop out of the shower, dry off, and I'll put this shirt right back on. Because now the shirt's clean, and it's dry, like, in 10 minutes. Like, you'd never know that I washed it. In fact, a lot of people don't know. <laughs> I've gotten out and been hanging out, and then I've told people, and some people think it's weird, like, oh, you shower with your clothes on? And I'm like, yeah, I just showered with this on. It's already dry. The beauty of merino. Underwear is, um, you know can take a little longer to dry if you got pants on. So I don't always put the underwear right back on unless I can walk around with just the underwear on. So yeah, showers at people's places, lakes and rivers, um, sinks again. You should be able to, you know, some people call it a whore bath, <laughs> a bird bath, but if you pop into a, a public restroom even, um, and there's a little bit of etiquette here too, but you just, so I'll tell you what to do and then how to do it. <laughs> so, I mean, this is kind of obvious to some people, but you get in the shower or sink, you get some water and maybe some paper towels, soak them up and just like quickly go into the pits and stuff and down in the crotch. Uh, if you have time, you pull out the bronners and you soap that up and you do the rinse, wash, double, it's basically like pits and crotch, splash some water on the face and you're good. So obviously this takes like, um, you know, it can take, up to a few minutes. So you might not want to be doing that in a, a multi bathroom where like a lot of people can walk in if you think people are going to be like weirded out that you're doing that. Not that it's that big a deal. Obviously you don't want to be dripping water everywhere, which is like, you know, you're kind of dripping water everywhere, but if you get good, you're not. Um, so you want to be quick about it. That way just no one gets weird and no one says anything like for whatever that's worth. Uh, but that's a classic and that's just a quick fresh freshen up. And uh, you feel great, especially that water in the face. Woo! <laughs> if you really got time, you like wet up the hair. Like if you really got the time in the space, you wet up the hair, you put the bronners in there, really just go over the sink, and then you're good. Um, so there's that. Uh, what else do we got? We got gym memberships. This is something I've never done, but I'm just going to relay it to you guys. A lot of van life people and car campers still get one of those, I don't even know, Planet Fitness, is that one of them? One of the nationwide gym chains you can get a membership i think for damn cheap like a yearly membership to some of these gyms um and whether you use the gym or not you can use the the showers so a lot of people do that um so and i don't know what it is i'm gonna make up a number but i think it's like 60 bucks a year and maybe i'm way off maybe it's like 300 bucks a year or something but you get this gym membership and you basically have access to showers like in any major in some minor cities so 
that's another option. Uh, public beaches. This one I have used uh, a fair amount. So anywhere where there's beaches, there's usually a shower or showers. And, uh, you know, you kind of got to be quick. You don't want to weird people out. Maybe you don't care. Again, just get in there if you're soaping up. If you're not soaping up, just get in there and do your thing. Wash down. But it's pretty quick to, like, blast a couple drops of Bronner's in your, your palm and just... You know, I'm just showing you how to shower on camera. <laughs> Take another lickety split of this moonshine while we're all showering on the beach. I like the beach shower. It's a good one. I was in Destin, Florida, hitchhiking around, and um, I planted myself there. I was just doing some writing, so I was hanging out at, like, a coffee shop by day, uh, writing. Then I go to the beach, dig the waves, take my little beach shower and then camp off in the woods. I did that for like a week or two until my buddy was like, you gotta hitchhike to San Antonio. And we're gonna go see Tim Duncan's last game. Shout out to Will. That was a fucking awesome weekend. Hitchhiked there in like two days from Destin. I digress. So yeah, public showers. So uh, sometimes by boats and marinas, you can find a shower, a little bit more sketch because you may or may not be able to you're not supposed to use those, but sometimes you can. Uh, and then the last, very last thing of the very last section I'll say is another thing that I don't do, but a lot of people do is uh, wet wipes. And there's a lot of these wet wipes. I'll link to a few that are like meant to be like waterless showers or whatever. It's basically just wet wipes, but they're, they're bigger or whatever. And I'm not gonna lie, they're great. Like you just pull out these wet wipes and just wipe. You know how a wet wipe works, right? <laughs> Uh, these are just designed to be awesome. I had a truck driver right as I got in. He handed me some of these wet wipes. Found out he was trying to fuck me. <laughs> That's why he wanted me to use the wet wipes. Found that one out an hour or two later. That's why he wanted me to be fresh. <laughs> but uh, they work. I don't have them because it's just one more thing to carry. And maybe I should just like two or three for an emergency. But if someone were to hand them to me, I would probably take them. But I might also have them two years later and be like, why have I been traversing the planet with these three wet wipes <laughs> that I never use? Because all the other tricks that I've told you work really well. So now we're reaching the end. <laughs> we are clean. We smell good. I'm about to hike down somewhere here and find a sandy spot to sleep, um, I think. I was going to hitchhike to a brewery, but uh, I think they're closed. So... I'm just going to camp around here. And as the sun's going down, it's getting a little bit more beautiful. So that's hygiene. If I missed anything, put it in the comments. If you got your own advice about uh, clothes, places you can wash up, anything, leave them in the comments. Everyone else will read it. They'll be stoked. If there's anything I can answer, I'll answer it there too. Or elaborate in a further video. Further video? Another video. I need another shot of moonshine. All right. I love you guys. Hope you guys are all doing great. Drinking some moonshine yourselves. Feel how tranquil it is out here. All right. I will see you down the road.